Hi guys, this is Sadek from Droidman.com and in this video, we will show you how to bring back the Android 11 power menu on any Android device. So for the unaware, in the Android 11 power menu, you could add the payment card in the bottom. Likewise, you could also add the smart home controls from wherein you could directly control all your smart home devices. Then you could make the payment by NFC using these cards. And likewise, you had some advanced power menu options at the top. But unfortunately, it has now all been removed. And as of now, we only get this four basic option of emergency, power off, restart and screenshot. So in this video, we'll show you how to go back to and bring back this Android 11 power menu. So let's get started. First and foremost, you'll have to root your phone via Magisk. If you haven't done so, then I have given a link in the description. Please go and check out how this could be carried out. In short, you have to extract the stock boot image file and then patch it via Magisk and flash it via password commands. So do so and then root your phone via Magisk. Once that is done, your next course of action is to install the Expose Framework LSPOS. So let's do that now. To do that, you will first and foremost have to enable Zygisk in the Magisk module. So launch the Magisk. Then as of now, you could see it's saying no next to Zygisk. So tap on the settings icon. Then enable the toggle next to Zygisk. It will ask you to re restart your phone. But we'll restart later on once we have flashed the module as well. So enable the toggle next to Zygisk and then go back. After that, you will now have to download the Zygisk LSPOS framework. So click on the GitHub link and from the GitHub link, you will be taken to the release section and from the release section, just download the LS Post Zygisk version of framework. Make sure it's a Zygisk version. So download it and place it on your phone. So let's do that as well. If the phone is not visible on your PC, then you could just need to change the mode to file transfer. Let me do that once. So my phone is now visible on my PC. And as you could see, I have already made the download. This is the LS Post zip file. So download it onto your phone. And once that is done, we'll now have to flash it via Magisk. So launch the Magisk app, go to the module section, and tap on install from storage. Then select the LS Post version 1 zip file, and it will now be flashed onto your phone. Once that is done, you'll have to tap on reboot. So with this, we have enabled the Zydisk and flashed the Expose framework LS Post, which is based on the Zygis version. So let's wait while the phone is booting up. It should only take a few seconds to boot up. After that, as of now, we have flashed the Zygis, but it's flashed in the backend only. The LS Post framework is there in the backend, but in the front end, we do not have any UI. So we will now have to install the LS Post APK file to get the, its UI and interact with the app. For that, please do, do not install the APK file from any third party site. Rather, the APK file is there inside the zip file only. So you just have to extract this file and install the APK. So let me show you what I mean. So as of now, as you could see, we do not have the LSPOS APK file or the LSPOS app installed on our phone. So we'll now have to extract the LSPOS zip file and get the APK file. So let me first make my phone visible on my PC. Just a minute. Okay. So let me show you. This is the downloaded LSPOS module on my phone. It's in the download section. And from there, you have to get hold of the manager.apk file. So simply extract this file from the zip file and place it on your phone. So in my case, I've already done so. Let me show you. This is the manager.apk file and let's now install this file. So open any file manager of your choice and then simply tap on the apk file and tap on install. The app has now been installed and you will now tap on open and you will now get a prompt. So tap on OK. And with this, the LS post has been activated and we are using the Zygisk version. And let me show you once in the Magisk as well. The Zygisk has now been enabled and saying yes next to Zygisk. So with this, we now have the LS post framework on our device. As you can see, it's now installed. So our next course of action is to install the Android 11 power menu. So go back to my guide. The link of this guide is given in the description. So go to this guide and then download the classic power menu from, from GitHub. So go to his GitHub page. And then go to the release section. And from the release section, just download its APK file. As of now, the latest version is version 1.6. So download the APK and place it on your phone. Once that is done, let's now install the APK file. So launch the file manager app of your choice. And then go to that APK file and tap on install. The app will now be installed. Once that is done, do not open it. Simply tap on done. Now launch the LS Post app. Just a minute. First and foremost, now launch the LS Post app. And from there, go to the module section and now select the classic power menu module. 
and enable the toggle next to enable module. Likewise, make sure the system UI has been check marked. If that's well and good, then you may now launch the classic Power Menu app, and it will now ask for a few permissions. So tap on Get Started. It will now first and foremost check for root. So tap on Grant and the magic permission, and then enable accessibility service. Once that is done, enable the wallet if you want. It's optional. Click on Next. Likewise, you could enable device control if you want. It's also optional. And click on Next. Finally, it's finished. So you could now further customize the power menu. So let me show you. If I go to the power options, select Edit Power option, and you could now add and remove tiles from this menu. For example, let's remove the lockdown mode from here. And just a minute. So let's remove the lockdown mode, and instead add the reboot to bootloader mode. So sometimes it gets a little challenging to add the tiles. So as you might be noticing here, so let's add this tile. Okay, it's a little difficult than I had imagined. Not an issue. So the tile has been added. Similarly, you could also add any other tiles of your choice and remove the tiles from the above section. Apart from that, you could also carry out these tweaks or go back and from here you could access the wallet and it will not pick up the all the wallet that has been added in the Google Pay app. In my case, I currently do not have the Google Pay app so or the Google Wallet app. So there will be no cards. So if you could want, you could tap on it. It will open the Google Wallet app and then you could add the cards of your choice. Likewise, you could also add the device control. Currently, I do not have any smart controls on my phone. So it will be empty. But if you want to, let me show you. This is how it will look like. So if I go back just a minute, let's go to its GitHub page. And as you could see, this is how it will look. These are the payments card from wherein you could actually make the payments. And at the bottom are the smart home devices controls from wherein you could control your smart home device directly from this menu. And in the upper section, you could get the advanced reboot option. So once you have done all the tweaks of your choices, simply lock your device once and then unlock it. Now let's check out the result. So as you could see, we have got the Android 11 power menu. As of now, I do not have any payments card. So I'm getting this message in the back end. As you could see, just the error message. You could easily remove this message as well. So for that, just relaunch the classic power menu. And from there, go to the wallet section and disable the toggle next to show quick access wallet. Once you do so, you could see that the error message is no longer there. And you could similarly add and remove any other features of your choice. So guys, on that note, we round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And guys, please subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.